Hi everyone, and welcome to Rienzi, a house museum and gardens located right here in the heart of Houston off of Kirby Drive. My name is Ryan Hernandez. I am the learning and interpretation coordinator here at Rienzi, and I have escaped from my home office and I am enjoying a bit of outside sunshine uh, with today's activity for you. Now, I like to bring you family art making activities that reuse some of the items from our junk drawers and also from nature. So today's activity is a wind catcher. So I've used uh, old ribbons. I found a twig in the gardens here and I've wrapped it with some leftover yarn. I have some jingle bells from Christmas and also some plexi to reflect the light that I had left over. Um, I'm going to search for some more leaves and twigs to maybe add to this just to create a more natural wind catcher. Uh, but I did also want to tell you a little bit about Rienzi itself and the gardens. Now Rienzi's gardens are open to the public Wednesday through Saturday 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Sunday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. So please come on by. It's absolutely free to visit our gardens. We even have a free garden activity map for kids, a garden I spy, uh, and we also have a free garden map for adults uh, that talks a little bit about the history and design of the gardens, as well as um, an audio guide. You can call a number and actually listen to information about Ramsey's house from home. You don't even have to be here. We'll have a link for that on our webpage at mfah.org backslash Rienzi, so please make sure to check that out there. Um, I am going to give you instructions here in a second on how to do this, but I do want to see your work, so make sure to share it at hashtag MFAH at home on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. We'd love to see your work. Also, make sure you tag it when you vis visit Rienzi's gardens. We'd love to see you in the gardens. Um, as always, I hope you find inspiration in the collections and art with the Museum of Fine Arts Houston, as well as Rienzi and our sister house museum, Bayou Bend. We get started with our craft project. Okay, so you're going to need, of course, scissors and some scotch tape. I've got some jingle bells left over from Christmas, so I'm going to use that. Um, some twigs that you have hopefully collected from your backyard or your local park. Um, I got mine from Rienzi. Um, I will say that I wouldn't start with something like this, which is a little crooked, uh, and it's a Y shape. It's a little more difficult to do this project with. So for your first time around, stick with something a little more straight and it'll be easier to decorate. Um, so yeah, scissors, tape, jingle bells, um, if you have them. I have some yarn left over from some knitting projects that never got finished, surprise, and uh, some ribbon. I have various types of ribbon to play with that I had left over from some wrapping and some other crafts that I was doing. So it's a great time to sort of clear out your clutter drawer, um, as well as if you have some leaves, uh, pine cones, things of that nature. I, I unfortunately could not find any. Um, at Rienzi because the landscaping team is on it. So um, mine is going to have some crafts uh, themed ribbon and things like that. So the first step of our project is to wrap the twig. So I used uh, different colors of yarn and scotch tape for this and your scissors. So you'll need your scissors, scotch tape, and your stick. I've got a straighter stick here to start with. So I'm going to start with this one. Uh, let's see, I've got white here, so let's just start with a white yarn. You're just going to need a little, little square rectangle. Tape the edge here, and you're just going to tape it down to the edge of your stick. I like to leave a little bit of the stick showing, just, you know, because it's hard to cover that all up. And Oh, I'm sorry, I did that backwards. Let's flip this over. You want to, the tail inside facing the direction you're going to wrap your yarn, so face this way. Um, I work from my left to my right, uh, so I'm going to do that, and then I'm just going to wrap it. You know, if you've got a branch with a lot of knots on it or a lot of bumps, you might have to go over it to completely cover it. Parents, help your kids out with this. It can be a little frustrating when you start, especially if you want it to be completely covered, completely opaque is what we would call it. So you just keep wrapping for however long you want or until you start to run out of yarn. It's up to you. I'm don't have much left so I'm just going to keep going. Um, I also like to see like a good chunk of color before I switch to the next color. So um, let's see, you're going to get until you get about a half an inch left. I'm just going to go ahead and cut mine. So let's just cut it there, wrap it a little bit more. 
and oops, you want to leave a little bit of a tail parallel to the stick here and um, get some more tape. Just tape that down and just make sure the tape is secure to the branch. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so now I'm going to pick another color. I've got blue here. You're going to start the same exact way. Tail heading the direction you're going when you wrap your branch. A little bit more tape. Just tape directly over it because guess what? You're going to cover it. So you're not even going to see the tape. It'll be nice and neat. Um, you can also do this with paints if you like. Uh, I just think this adds a little bit of texture to this particular craft uh, and paint. You also have to wait for the paint to dry. You might have to apply several layers. Nobody wants to do that. This is a quick, fast and easy family art making activity. So hence we use yarn. You can use ribbon, wide grain ribbon if you really like, but um, it's a little harder to get the coverage that you're going to want. All right. So I'm about done with this color. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let me just cut a little off here. I'm going to wrap it just a little bit more. All right, and tail side down. Let's get our tape. So I can just tape this down and you can move on to the next color. This is just a little bit of the process on how to cover your twig, okay? So let's say we've gone ahead and wrapped our twig all the way. Here's my complete twig. Um, here's where I'm going to attach all of my extra stuff. I have this really pretty leftover ribbon that I like to use. I'm just going to tie it in a simple knot around because I like I want it to sort of have a tail and fly out in the breeze. Oop, sorry, kind of hit the camera there. Um, I've got my jingle bells attached to just some yarn and I'm just going to lay out sort of where I want things. I've also got that plexiglass I was talking about. This is just plastic plexi. If you have bottles at home, plastic bottles, you know, parents might be a good time to recycle some of those plastic bottles, create some light reflecting strips. So I'm just going to lay it all out here for you. And I'm just tying this on in simple knots, double knots. And you can just cut the excess off when you're done. All right, and you're also gonna need um, some yarn to hang this. Now, if you have a hook outside or if you want to hang it on a tree branch, you might want to wait until you know where you're going to hang it. Um, I have a hook outside, so I'm just going to um, do a single piece of yarn. Thanks for joining us today and I really do hope you uh, enjoyed making your wind catcher. Once again, I want to see it, so make sure to hashtag MFAH at home on all your social media platforms and we look forward to seeing you in the galleries. I hope you are inspired by the art today. Bye!